Hey, welcome back to the carriage play of Suri Coden 2. Uh, for you, it's been a couple days. For us, we stopped, we ate dinner. It's much cooler in here. Mm -hmm. Much more pleasant. Uh, the we, little it, bit of money grinding. Oh, yeah, let, oh, two pairs of toe shoes. Oh, well, that's certainly all the grinding we would have done. No, none of me has two pairs of toe shoes, too. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> You're in a weird mood. <laughs> hey, man, eating a frozen pizza will do that too, okay? Um, All right, so... The okay, we're, we're, on la the last episode, we were going to check the southern checkpoint. We suspect we haven't been down here because we're still minds blown that we can even come over to this part of the map this early in the game. We suspect they're not going to let us into two rivers. But we thought you'd let us see that... We'd let you see that disappointment with us. Okay. Right? And truthfully, it's not really disappointment. It's just... I'm just really curious what they're... Oh, okay. We're doing secret training here. You can't come in. Well, that was lame. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. So part of, part, of, part of me wants to go get Gen Gen <laughs> and check it with Gen Gen, but I highly doubt that... I, I don't think that they'll let us in. Yeah, even if we have Gen Gen. Joe, do we want to check? Oh, man. No, that's not. That's, <laughs> I'm, uh, I would be so surprised. Yeah, there's no yeah. way. That seemed like too... Um, too abrupt, too yeah. immediate. It, di it didn't really give you a chance to say anything or even a suggestion. It's like, oh, there's a kobold in your party. Come on in. Yeah. Like, I, I we only know. let in kobolds. Yeah. But they wouldn't let you in anyway because... Gengen -gen is lame. Yeah, Gengen's -gen <laughs> exiled for being a weirdo. Not that there's anything wrong with being weird. No. There's something wrong, like, for being weird like Gengen, -gen, though. <laughs> exactly. Gengen -gen ate a baby, Joe. Gengen <laughs> <laughs> -gen rides other dogs. <laughs> yeah, with the, and then, like, taunts them with, like, fish on a stick. Was that fishing a stick? I couldn't tell, like, from the sprite, if it was, like, a bone tied to a fishing oh. pole or something. Regardless, man. Um. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, we're heading back to where we should have been originally. Uh. Maybe, what if these guys don't let us pass? <laughs> 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 if that would mark the end of our let's play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, but we got those toe shoes, so it was all worth it. Yeah. More sky spiders. Skiders. Skiders? Skeeters. Yeah. No, those are mosquitoes. Love the zoom in for um, critical hits. Oh, yeah. You know, the. Uh, Dragon Quest does something similar, but with sound effects, that <laughs> sound effect mm -hmm. when you get a, the critical. That's always super satisfying. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, Jacob we, just sneezed. Yeah. It, it sounded weird. Yeah, thanks for letting everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, or a tiny man jump down your throat. <laughs> well, that usually happens. Uh, let's see. Do uh, I guess we could check Muse? Uh, that's a, that's a good idea. Well, yeah, I guess like technically we don't need the pass yet. Anyway, okay, right? We can go ahead. Yeah. Neat. Hey, I'm an old man. Hey there, you're not from here, are you? This is Muse City. It's the biggest city in the state. It is. Hmm. <gasps> oh, Tuda and Doctor Juan are here. In, in Muse. Oh, okay. Well, talk to him. Yes, welcome. Whoa, lagging? Oh, just a Fespus too. Right, okay. yeah. I was thrown <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh, if you remove uh, medicine or consumables. Let's get another antitoxin. Good idea. Yosh. When we were level grinding, we burned through a lot of antitoxin. Do we want another one? Uh... Yeah, it would suck to be caught unawares, or caught without one. Okay. I might buy one medicine. Okay. Do it. Did and done. Alright. 
Yeah. I, I, I don't think we're going to subject people to, like, us exploring every nook and cranny of Muse. This, this place is huge. Okay. Um, but, like, let, let's poke around. Let's uh, see if anything catches our fancy. Okay. There's a lot of people yeah. just... Yeah, just chilling out in the armor. Uh, not as good as I hoped. I mean, of course, we went to the province one... You know. Yeah, but I mean, there wasn't an armor shop that we could get into over there. Yeah. Do we want a leather coat for... It's not really worth it, is it? No. We got our toe shoes. Ooh, upstairs. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Old man. Take this. Compared to his sisters, my son is a lazy bones. I'm a lazy bones. <laughs> I like to travel. My sisters are taking good care of this place, so there's nothing to worry about. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Sure. Family drama, you know. I hope <laughs> nothing bad happens to all these people. No. Um, one thing that, like, I do want to say about the city here is, like, and, like, all of the cities in uh, Sukhon 2 really stand out. It's just, like, really chop. Really chop. Uh, okay, that, okay, that for sure. <laughs> okay. Still fireworks. So yeah, still noises outside. Uh, bye. Oh. Fire, Titan, attack up for two-handed sword. Um. All right, buds. Whoa. Oh, wow. There's like sky fireworks, everybody. Yeah, somebody's going all out. For it sounds like 15 seconds. Yeah, well. Oh, okay. That was like a hundred bucks worth. <laughs> was it worth it? Um, oh, I mean, we'd really have to save up. And it's not really worth it, is it? I mean, I was thinking it's like, uh, Titan's probably pretty good for Victor. Oh, but yeah, we're not even gonna... Like, a good judge of what, when you get Victor cemented in your party is like, what, we're level 10? They were level 20, you know? Yeah. Are you a customer? All business is conducted downstairs. What the hell were we talking about? You were saying, uh... Oh, I just wanted to, like, point out the, like, city design. And, like, I mean, like, we, we keep talking about, like, how how much attention to detail there is. But, like, this multi-layered city with... And, like, it just... Oh, okay, go ahead. Um, I just think it's really pretty and, like, well-designed and it feels real and alive. Yeah. Lots of NPCs. Uh, where's Juan and uh, Tuta? Uh, they're on the main street. Oh, okay. cool. So head back there uh, to the south, and they're going to be on the right. I, th that's, I think it's right In there. here? Yeah. I think. Upstairs? Maybe. Maybe they're not here right now. Oh, shoot. Maybe I'm wrong. It, I think or they, they just might not appear. I think, you know. Because it would be kind of like a weird story thing where it's like they would have to write it in. Is oh. there any characters in here? Uh, Anita, I think you can recruit in here, but she's probably not here yet. Like this bar. I suppose Jess will be uh, will be mayor after Lady Annabelle quits. I can't imagine her quitting anytime soon. Yeah. Characters for later. All right. Yeah. Neat city. So it feels appropriately overwhelming. There's a lot to see there. You know. Uh huh. You know, it doesn't feel, it, it just doesn't, it, you know, it's scaled up significantly for many of the other um, towns we've been in before. Yeah. Aw. Hello, welcome to the White Deer Inn. Bye. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything going on here. Hey there. Where'd you come from? Yeah. I'm sure this place won't come up again. Nope. Pigs! Never. Okay, ready All to right. head back. <laughs> After you guys have suffered through episodes of us, like, dicking around in places we had no business being. Thank but you for joining us. <laughs> yeah. on, on our journey. I mean, like, I think that's important because we're playing this to feel it out, you know? Well, big, yeah, it's like for our own 
game design and like how do you make a world feel alive and real and by surprising players by the amount of freedom that you you, you give them that's yeah definitely one key thing that we want to keep in our own game joey welcome back <laughs> you look terrific you left before your wounds were healed and we were so worried i'm happy to see you again i just don't know how to thank you enough for what you did for me you don't have to thank us. We <laughs> just did what anyone else here would have done. Right, dear? Of course, Joey. And this is... Oh, this is my boyhood friend, Carrie. Carrie and me. We can't get back to Highland. I see. Well, think of this as your own home. You're welcome here anytime. That's right. You're welcome... Anytime. I'll make you all a terrific feast. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Pilika is happy too. Pilika happy. Um, Uncle Joey, Uncle Carrie, come over here. Pilika, Joey and Carrie must be very tired. Leave them be for a while. Okay. And no spoilers about what comes, Joe. No, none of your little cute teasing. This Do you is think just that's intentional moment. that the, the guy's name is Marx? Like, uh, what is that? Rancho Marx? What's that? <laughs> Groucho Marx? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what it's referencing in this political narrative, is that the character named Marx is referencing <laughs> Groucho Marx of the Marx Brothers. That's what's happening. I, yes. don't, I don't even know who Groucho Marx is. <laughs> Jesus. What? <laughs> All right, let's move on. No, it's Karl Marx. Groucho Marx is Karl Marx? Damn it. Okay, never mind. Okay, what is it, Pilica? Over here. Over here. But you're, you're closer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you uh, seriously not know who Karl Marx I is? I know who Karl Marx okay. is. He's Groucho Marx's other brother. Yeah, he's one of the Marx brothers. <laughs> Ugh. Um, er... Uh, Pilika has a favor to ask. Will you listen, please? What is it, Pilika? Um, when Pilika went to Muse with Mommy and Daddy, Pilika saw something really great. Something great? Yes, yes. Oh, I like how like they did a custom animation of him oh, bending yeah. his ear. Yeah, that's awesome. Or like bending down to listen. <laughs> yes, yes. Soon it will be Daddy's birthday, and Bil Pilika will want to uh, want to give him a present. When Pilika went to the store in Muse, Pilika saw a pretty wooden amulet with stars and fish on it. Do you think Daddy would like it? I'm sure he would. So? I love this moment. Especially that she gives you way less money than you need to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? When Pilika does chores for Daddy, Pilika gets two potch. Now Pilika has this much, so Pilika can buy amulet. But Pilika can't leave village alone. So could Uncle Joey and Uncle Kerry go buy amulet for Pilika, please? Of course. Right, Kerry? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to... Yeah, I think that's the nice, but... It's kind of far. <laughs> it's a wooden amulet. It's at the big item store. Don't forget. Yeah, 70 bucks. I think it's 300 for some reason. Let's get that birthday present. Muse is west of Toto Village. Uh, it's the capital city of the state. So it'll be lively. It would be cool if, like, it put in, like, oh, we've already been there. Yeah. yeah. Just where we were earlier. Thanks. Don't lose the money, okay? Leave it to us. No. Can we steal our bear? No. <laughs> it's the biggest item store. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay. I thought you were doing like... Yeah, right. It looks... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and another impressive episode of Spider-Man. Oh, you thought I was reading <laughs> Stan Lee. <laughs> uh, what does Carrie like to eat? Next time I'll make a feast for you. I was, gonna, I, teasing, Joe. <laughs> I was gonna try to do like a Stanley impression, I decided not to. 
Yeah, it'd just be embarrassing. I mean, it's, yeah. Cringeworthy. All right, we all know the path to Muse. Let's fast forward it. And we're back. Yeah, wow, that was weird. Yeah, the weird detours. Yeah, bizarre. <laughs> Jacob was really dizzy. Yeah. He just like was wandering around. It's like, man, Muse is right there. Yeah, I, I got lost, really. <laughs> It happens to the best of us. All right, so the item shop is where. Oh uh, no, it's uh to the south, south uh, southwest. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. Oh, huh? what an amulet! Oh yeah, uh, this here. It's not for sale. A customer with an overdue bill left it a few months ago. But I guess if you really want it, I'll sell it to you. So how about oh. 500 pot 500 oof ouch I think can't you get it down like the price down I don't know 500 pot well if you don't want it fine 500 pot what should we do carry yeah we'll pay it of course thanks a lot I'll pay you back sometime by stabbing in the back <laughs> okay but I don't know why anyone would want this again Even though it's like worth a small fucking fortune. <laughs> um, Do we want to check for Dr. Juan and Tuda again? Yeah, now? Yeah. It's... Map. Nope. Nope, nope. This nope. might even not be the right building. It just seems. It, it, I think he has a doctor's office. Maybe this is just a residence. Okay, we'll, we'll search a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, just poke around a little bit. Oh, no. See, Fraser. Fraser. Bunch of tough guys. Because, like, uh, they, this is where the game, for the first time, expects us to be here. Maybe there's some slight differences. Do you want to check the bar, or... I can check the bar. Yeah. Well, we did check the bar when we first came. Well, no, but, like, this is the first time the game expects us oh. to be here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything different. All righty then. Are we ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's. Go. I don't. I think that is Doctor. Well, I guess we we will be proven wrong potentially. What's this building? Uh, that's the jail. Oh, sketch. You'll spend some time in there later. Spoilers. Yep. All right. Back east. It's actually not that far of a walk. Yeah. But <laughs> like one battle maybe. Yeah, the, the truth is, is that when Jacob said that, like, we came up to Muse too quickly, and he's like, do you think we should just level grind to justify <laughs> this, like, speeding up the footage? Yeah. It would feel wrong if it was just, like, for, like, blip, oh, we're here. So, it's all for your own, and it's all for your entertainment. And also, I wanted to get some money to, like, Level up Nanami's weapon, but... Yeah, and then decided against it. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah. It's not like, I don't think there's a really any tough, tough things going on. Okay, so the world map has already changed for it, right? That town looks different from the world oh, map. Holy crap, you're right. Yeah, yes. I was, was not paying attention. Yes. So it looks a little bit darker. The land inside looks a little bit more... Burnt. The music is on him. Uh oh. <laughs> it's anonymous. It's anonymous. Like anonymy anonymous. <laughs> yeah, I, it's hard. Uh, to, a little hard to speak. Ominous. Ominous. Anonymous. Uh -huh. An Anonymity. All right. <laughs> okay. This this is gonna be sad. Yeah. <laughs> we're just trying to lighten the mood. Or we're jackasses. Okay. I mean, like, this is such a surprise moment. Yeah. You don't expect this little fun fetch quest to end in such tragedy. What? What the? Why? Why? 
Yeah, this is quite quite upsetting. Yeah. What happened? Uh, where? Where? Because, like, okay, what... The, the previous thing that was this bad that happened before was your Boy Scout troop being murdered. Mm. You know? And this is maybe... This is on a bigger scale. Like yeah, it's, like... It's... The game is ramping up. It's... Well, like, one of the things that, like, Hannah had said was, uh, like, there's a lot of kids here. I like it here. You know, like... Yeah. You know, so it's this, there's children, old elderly, dogs, farmers. Dang, man, there's fireworks out here. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, like, I think it's in, it, it's important to see the costs of war, you yeah. know? Because, like, you, there are a lot of games that, like, deal with war, but you don't really see the cost of it, you know? Mm. The, you know, the, the the before and after, what this does to people who just want to live their lives. Yeah. Like, it isn't sold very well in other games about war. Uh, what, what could it, what, what, I, what? I didn't read that. It was just, I don't know, it, you basically got it all. What's up, bud? Uh. <laughs> a pillow we're, 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 we're losing our marbles. Yeah, a little um, bit. It's late. I don't want to read Pillica crying because yeah. I think you'll just like insult the moment. <laughs> right, and like it sounds humorous when you. Yeah. Dad, Daddy said go hide. So Pillica hide real good. So nobody find. But Pillica hear a lot of noise. Very scary noise. Very, very, very scary noise. So, so, so Pillica. Pillica, take a little beak. And then, and then, Pilga saw mommy and daddy, but they not moving, covered with sticky red stuff. What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> Zombie is maybe the... <laughs> we shouldn't have had Zombie at the party for this. Oh, sorry everybody. <laughs> it's just sort of like, <laughs> rub salt in the wound of this moment. Pilika, 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 no. Mommy and Daddy are dead, right? Daddy Air told... Air quotes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Daddy told Pilika about it when Pilika's cat died. But, but, it's okay. Daddy said that it's not so bad to be dead. He said it just like going somewhere far, far away. Right? Pilika... Pelica, a good girl. Mommy, daddy. I mean, like, a great use of the shivering uh, sprite yeah. animation. Aww. Oh! Yeah, who? You do it, Joe. Okay. Somebody! Is somebody there? I legit like Apple as a character. Yeah. yeah. I like that they really took Apple from Sukhon 1's uh, optional character. And it's, like, made her so important. Yeah. In 2. Yeah. You? You don't look like Highland soldiers. Are you survivors? What happened here? It's the work of the Prince Luca Blight. He looted and burned this village just to keep his army entertained. And next he'll... Do you know a man named Victor? He's a mercenary from near here. <laughs> I've got no time left, so if you know him, please take me to him. Wait, this girl, Pilika, she's still crying. There's no time. Drake her if you must, but we have to go. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, no, nothing. Ah, uh, it's my fault. My power wasn't enough. I couldn't protect this village. 
So I'm like, <laughs> are we playing this for a laugh? This like really serious scene. I know, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. All my voices are just sound like a goof. Yeah. It's that time of night. Yeah. We're sorry, everybody. So my journey was just a waste of time. Let's fight together. So there's still a chance for me to wield my sword. In that case, I'll join you. Nice. But like that sad dog from before is like there's something extra sad about Can we recruit the dog? I mean I'm Marv? <laughs> no, but like it's it's like one of those things, it's like that's like an underline, like a double underline of how sad this is. This thriving village full of friendly, happy people. Ooh. Oh. Hello. Wow. We can't interact. Okay. With it. All right. Yeah. Sorry, everybody, for taking <laughs> the moment. We're doing our best. All right. I think that that's an episode. Okay. Um, we hope to see you next time. We're gonna go see Victor and uh, progress the story. Actually, move forward. Yeah. It, All right. It, it's been slow. Sorry. Yeah. But uh, I think I think we need to do it this way. Yeah, we got to be true to us. All right, all right. Bye, everybody. Bye.